Hola, mis amigos y amigas. Welcome and muy bienvenidos to the ninth annual La Plaza Pobladores Awards Gala. My name is Rocio Lopez and I am so happy to be here with you for this very special cocktail reception to kick off tonight's festivities and fundraiser. We're here in the beautiful La Plaza campus in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. And in normal times, this space would be filled with sounds and laughter of 400 people enjoying this magnificent evening. But as we all know, we are not in normal times. So we hope that you're all safe and cozy, enjoying the program from the comfort of your own home. And by the way, tiene nombre? We want to remind you that you can still order a delicious dinner from one of our wonderful participating restaurants on the link on your screen. And what is a cocktail reception without cocktails? Here now to show us how to prepare a refreshing beverage to enjoy with the program are our friends from Madre's Restaurant in Torrance and Mid-City. Thank you so much to Ivan and the Madre team. Y salud! Mm. We have such a special program and very special guests who are joining us tonight virtually. So let's see who's here first. Hi, I'm State Senator Marielena Durazo, and I'm so proud to represent La Plaza de Cultura y Artes in the 24th Senate District. I congratulate my friend Gloria Molina on founding La Plaza nine years ago, and for all the great work it has done to promote Latino history in LA, and especially the way it has revitalized our historic district of downtown. I send a big virtual abrazo to my friends Castelo and Los Lobos for doing so much and being so dedicated to our community. Thank you all for supporting La Plaza. Let's work harder together to continue the battles for justice alongside our courageous Latino community. We will not let Trump stay in office. Si se puede. We're coming together tonight to celebrate and to raise funds for an amazing organization. And to help us do that, we have some wonderful auction items that'll be available through October 17th that you can bid on at the link below. And here to tell us about these items is La Plaza's Director of Development and Membership, Kimberly Chavez. Hi, Kim. Hi, Rocio. You're so right. And you know, we're so very thankful that many of our local artists, restaurateurs, crafts makers, and community are supporting La Plaza by donating these beautiful items. We have trips, dinners, art, and virtual experiences, and so much more. Rocio, how would you like to have a one-on-one -on -one cooking session with your favorite chef? Oh my gosh, I would love that. Not to mention, it would make my mother so proud to see me cooking. <laughs> we can make it happen. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm bidding on that for sure. Well, now for a special shout out with a very special guest. Check out who's joining us tonight. Buenas noches. It's great to see everyone under these very unusual circumstances. I want to thank the La Plaza Board of Directors and the staff for an outstanding job they have done in keeping La Plaza active and vital through these very challenging times. Their virtual programming has been outstanding. 
are en casa and en familia are streaming programs that highlight the very best of our community. They are informative, educational, fun, and even provocative. I also want to congratulate Castro de la Rocha for an outstanding job that he has been doing. He's receiving our Pobladores Award this evening. I knew him way back when he was running a small clinic on the east side and now a health empire. I also want to congratulate Los Lobos, who again, I attended many a fundraiser on the east side, and now they are international artists. Congratulations, guys. They too are receiving our Pobladores Award. Both of these are inspiring our community. They're still creative and they're innovative and they're still providing leadership. Congratulations. Again, let's enjoy the program and muchísimas gracias for your support of La Plaza. You know, Gloria was not only a county supervisor for 23 years, but she is also the founder of La Plaza. Thank you so much, Gloria. So Kim, what do we have here? This is a gorgeous piece from one of our local Chicano artists, Chris Garcia, and this one is entitled Primavera, and it can be yours. Make sure you bid on this one. Wow, I'm loving it. And speaking of amazing Chicano artists, look who's joining us now. I came back to Los Angeles in uh, 20, 2010. Plaza uh, was just being born and I thought to myself, how wonderful that, you know, finally there is going to be an institution that um, brings history, the history and culture of the founders of one of the greatest cities in the world. And you know, prior to that, the, the only acknowledgement we have ever had uh, is in the history that's, that's, that's written about, you know, about the Spanish conquest. So I thought this, this is going to be a wonderful thing if uh, the voices of, of the Mexican-American community can finally be honored as the founders of the city and, and the incredible impact that their art and culture have had. And I think that leadership of, of uh, John H. Um, de has been uh, superb in, in leading Plaza to a place where it's going to thrive and go far into the future. Hi, Rocio, thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be a part of La Plaza's gala today. Hi, Rocio and everybody. Uh, Hope you guys are enjoying that crispy chicken with uh, pomegranate chimichurri, and we sure would love to be here in person doing this for you, but it's, uh, it's such a pleasure for us to be here with La Plaza and, and you all celebrating this wonderful evening. So hope you guys all enjoy this. Thank you so much for your continued support, and we hope to continue to support La Plaza for years to come. Provecho. Saludos. Our family here at Yucas Restaurants is happy to celebrate with you tonight the induction of two of our favorite groups. Rock legend Los Lobos, who has three generations of fans in our family, and Castula de la Rocha, whose work uplifts and inspires our community. Enjoy tonight. Let's celebrate Latinx achievement for a lifetime. Good evening, y buenas noches. I'm Anthea Hartig, the Elizabeth McMillan Director of the National Museum of American History of the Smithsonian Institution. It's an honor to be coming to you from Washington, D.C., the ancestral lands of the Piscataway and the Natchitoches, and to live and work in their territory. To all of you there in the land of the Tongva, or wherever you are, may we always embrace and respect our ancestors. To mi hermano John Echeveste, your incredible staff, your stalwart board, and everyone who works tirelessly there, Thank you for letting me join your virtual Plobladores Awards. It's so fitting and important this year that we support the rich and lasting legacy of Eastside artists and the Eastside Arts Initiative COVID-19 Artist Emergency Relief Fund this year of all years. Let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to Senor de la Rocha and to Los Lobos. Salud. Like the 44 mostly mestizaje pobladores from Mexico are blending our beauty and our differences. And in those, may we all find the strength to blaze new trails that endure, inspire, and enrich our communities. Gracias for everything and for being such an incredible partner. We really appreciate your work. 
Well, we're here in the historic Paseo walkway that La Plaza completed earlier this year. This is a beautiful, serene, green space full of history. And these spinner signs give you a quick history of LA from the time of the Tongva to La Placita history to US statehood. It's kind of like an outdoor history class. And our history is so important. And you can help La Plaza keep it alive by donating and becoming a member or participating in our silent auction. And speaking of silent auctions, Kim, how's it going? Rocio, you're so right. Our history and cultura are so important. And as a fourth generation Angelino, I love La Plaza and I can't wait to get back. We want to thank our fabulous local restaurant community for their support. We have special dinner packages available for you this evening. If you're in Northeast Los Angeles, you can order from Pocha of LA. If you're in downtown LA, you can order from Pez Cantina. And if you're in Pasadena, you can order from Yucas. Check out the link on the screen for all of our participating restaurants. Yum, yum, yummy. Those are some of my favorite restaurants. And by the way, while you're all bidding on some of these amazing items, here's a message from another one of our champions. Greetings, everybody, and virtual abrazos to everybody, the friends and supporters of La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. It's an honor to be part of this year's program once again. You know, the annual uh, coming together uh, for La Plaza de Cultura y Artes is one of the best events of the year, because frankly, it's not just us coming together as a community, uh, but as one big happy family. So we miss being together in person, but we continue to celebrate virtually and pay tribute to some very worthy honorees. So uh, congratulations to Castro de la Rocha and the legendary Los Lobos, uh, who each have for more than 40 years been working to strengthen the health and cultural well-being of our community in the greater Los Angeles area and beyond throughout the state and throughout the nation. So uh, my heartfelt congratulations to the honorees. Uh, and I'd be remiss as Secretary of State if I didn't have a couple of reminders. Uh, if you or anybody you know hasn't registered to vote yet, they should do it right away. A clearly consequential election coming up uh, in just a few weeks. Go to vote.ca.gov and do it there. If you're already registered to vote, verify your registration status and sign up for Where's My Ballot, our ballot tracking tool, because as I'm hoping you've heard, every active registered voter will receive a ballot in the mail and be able to vote from home this November. We'll have the in-person voting locations still available, but we're doing everything we can to make sure people can exercise their right to vote uh, and protect their health and that of their loved ones during this COVID-19 pandemic. So again, uh, to make sure you're prepared or for more information, go to vote.ca.gov. And with that, let the celebration continue. Congratulations again, Castulo. Congratulations, Los Lobos. Que siga la fiesta. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. We're so fortunate to have you overseeing our election system here in California. Now remember, you can still register to vote until October 19th. And once you receive your ballot in the mail, send it in right away. So as mentioned, we have something here for everyone this evening. If you're like me and you bleed blue, we've got something just for you. Uh, we have some fantastic uh, items from Aesop, some of our downtown partners, and also some uh, more Chicano art from local artists. So make sure you check it out. We have uh, La Jefa basket with uh, all of the Frito Kahlo items and also a basket that's made for relaxing. It includes candles by Isa, a detox day spa um, certificate, and a bottle of Gabby wine from El Valle de Guadalupe. Nice. Well, Kim, it's about showtime, so I actually need a refill. <laughs> While I do that, let's see who else wants to say hi. As a trans woman, I know what it feels to be excluded from spaces. And I'm so grateful that La Plaza has been integral into making sure that um, La Plaza is inclusive and in supporting all communities, including queer and trans Latinx individuals. And so please support the amazing work that La Plaza is doing and will continue to do because of your support. Muchísimas felicidades de Janelle Hartley uh, a la Plaza de Cultura y Artes for your Pobladores Award Gala. 
I was so excited to be part of the Afro Latinidad exhibition. And I just want to thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my Afro Latina cultura with, uh, with the community. Thank you for including me. And I look forward to many years of community exhibitions. Amigos, if you're just tuning in, we're here at La Plaza de Cultura y Artes for our annual Pobladores Awards Gala. And uh, Kim, how's the auction going? It's going by so fast, so make sure you get your bids in quickly. Uh, the auction will be open until October 17th, but these items may be gone by then. I want to give a heartfelt thanks to all of our supporters this evening who make what we do possible. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me, Kim. And thanks to all of you for tuning in. You have about a quick minute to refill, refresh, before we start our program with a spectacular performance that you will not want to miss. It was my pleasure to be with you this evening. Stay safe and keep bidding. Muchas gracias y buenas noches. Hello, I'm Dolores Huerta, president of the Dolores Huerta Foundation for Grassroots Organizing. And I wanna thank my friends at La Plaza for all of the great work that they have been doing to keep all our culture, our music, all of our celebrations alive. I was so happy to be there last year uh, when we honored uh, Linda, uh, Linda Ronstad and with my good friend, Dan Guerrero. It was such a, such a beautiful event. And now, uh, and of course, the La Plaza has been so generous in celebrating more than one of my birthdays. And I hope that we can do the next one too, which will be next April. So uh, we'll be ready to invite everybody to that one also. And also now I am so happy that my good friends, Los Lobos and Castulo de la Rocha are receiving the Pobladores Award. For more than 40 years, they have been there fighting. I remember with Los Lobos, they were so young and we were out at the different colleges and they were playing uh, to uh, get the young people involved in, in the farm worker movement. And of course, uh, Gastulo de la Rocha, what can I say? He has formed this, this chain of, of, of clinics that where people are so welcome and they are received with such dignity that I think people want to get sick just to be able to go to <laughs> one of Casula de la Rocha's clinics. What a visionary. The fact that he was able to uh, establish this chain of clinics. Uh, who knew that the pandemic was coming? So Casula is such a visionary. And Los Lobos, of course, they have graced our world with so much beautiful music, the traditional music, the current music. What a, what a gift. What a gift to the world we have with Los Lobos and Casulo de la Rocha. So it is so important uh, that we uh, continue uh, to bring all of this color, all of this beauty, all of this health, uh, to bring it all to our community. And of course, La Plaza is the one that is able to do that uh, for all of us. So uh, let's, let's continue with La Plaza. Let's do whatever we can. We've got to continue our struggle on the front lines. And please, everybody, we just want to remind everybody to get counted on the census if you haven't gotten counted yet, and don't forget to vote. Si se puede con la plaza, si se puede con los lobos, si se puede con Gastulo de la Rocha. Muchas gracias. Well, I want to thank you all for inviting me to participate in this virtual gala. Gastulo de la Rocha, one of my all-time favorite people and los lobos. Both of you are quite deserving of this great honor from la plaza. Castelo and I go back since, well, 1984. And I have to tell you, Castelo, that it has been a pleasure knowing you, creating this friendship. But more importantly, I'm so proud of what you have accomplished. You and Soila together make a wonderful team. But Castelo, I've known you since the beginning of Altamed and the impact that Altamed has had on the lives of so many Latinos, not just Latinos, primarily Latinos, but to the entire Southland community. You are a treasure because you have managed to uh, combine great knowledge and empathy. And Lord knows we need a lot of empathy in this day and age in what we're going through in this country. So I just wanna say, Jackie Robinson once said, life is not important except for the impact that it has on other lives. And you, my friend, have made a great impact. I salute you all and congratulate you.
Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, direct from the beautiful campus of La Plaza de Cultura y Artes in downtown Los Angeles, welcome to the ninth annual Pobladores Awards Gala. To kick off our program, please welcome LA's own Grammy-winning recording artist, La Marisol. Para La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, con mucho cariño, y para Los Lobos, con muchísimo cariño también. We love you. Speak softly, don't wake the baby. Come and hold me once more before you have to leave. Yeah, there's a lot of work out there, everything will be fine. And I'll send for you, baby. so soulful. I still have goosebumps. She is one of our true LA treasures with her own interpretation of a classic Los Lobos song, the one and only La Marisol. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Vias of NBC4. I'm so happy and very honored to be with you tonight in support of La Plaza. We are adjusting to the new realities of the day. We promise to make the night the closest thing to being right here. So refresh your cocktail. Not too much. Take off your shoes. It's okay if you have pajamas. I'm jealous and let's party i'm here tonight with my co-host and good friend from our sister station telemundo 52 dunia elvir good to see you good how are you doing you, my friend i'm happy buenas noches a todos feliz de estar yeah. contigo this is a pleasure it's my honor to celebrate our arte en cultura right here in this special place and i'm here tonight with two jefes de jefes two, two not only one 
first, Lupe de la Cruz, tercero. That's royalty, my friend. Tercero. Tercero. And he's a board chair in John Echeveste, CEO. So let's see, Lupe, what are we having today? Gracias, Doña Dunya. I'm very proud to be here tonight with our CEO, John. Tonight's program serves as the primary fundraising activity for La Plaza. Funds raised here tonight support our many exhibits, our programs, and educational activities. Your support helps keep La Plaza strong, vital, and growing. We also realize that the pandemic has created especially difficult hardships on our local artistic community, whether in the visual or performing arts. That's why half of the proceeds raised tonight will be used to provide mini grants to the artists and arts organizations here in the East Side. If you're an artist in need, you can apply at the link on your screen. Thank you and enjoy the program. You know, La Plaza is so important to me and so many others. This is where I first found out about the Tongva Indians, uh, the first settlers of our area. Arts are such a big part of our community that instills so much knowledge and vitality. So with that, we want to ask John how La Plaza is surviving during this pandemic. Hi, John. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here with us tonight. You know, we've made an immediate shift to online programming uh, since the pandemic uh, took place. And we now like to think of ourselves as a virtual museum. And what that means is that we've initiated a new program called En Casa con la Plaza. Mm -hmm. And that features cooking sessions, performances, Great. talks. We do that three times a week and we've done about 80 programs That's so far. Lot. We've also uh, done a lot of virtual walkthroughs of our galleries so people can still see our right. exhibitions. And most recently we started a new program called uh, in, uh, in Familia con la Plaza, and that's oriented to school kids, so they can uh, have hands-on activities in gardening and cultural literacy and in cooking skills, so it's a lot of fun. Adelante. Yes. Can't stop, won't stop. You that's got the it. attitude. Well, John, congratulations on all the hard work to keep this going. Now we want to take a look at some of the highlights from 2019 when this place was buzzing with a lot of activity, as well as some highlights from 2020.
Qué emoción ver estas imágenes. I can hardly wait until this place is alive with activities again. Now, let's welcome two special people in our community. They're going to deliver greetings. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti and LA County First District Supervisor Hilda Solis. I'm Mayor Eric Garcetti. And it's my honor to join you tonight as we celebrate La Plaza de Cultura y Artes and mark the ninth annual Pobladores Awards. Los Angeles is a place where cultures collide and where identities intersect and people of all backgrounds join together to write our city's history. La Plaza helps us tell that story by honoring the heroes of the past and inspiring the next generation of dreamers who call this city home. Tonight's honorees are some of our city's leading lights. For decades, my friend Castulo de la Rocha has led the movement to level the playing field, bringing resources to the most vulnerable and making our communities healthier, stronger, and more just. And through his traveling exhibit, Building Bridges in a Time of Walls, Castulo, you have carried that mission forward, sharing the talents of LA's local Chicano artists and our brothers and sisters in Mexico. That bridge between cultures has been so important. And tonight we also honor Los Lobos, a Los Angeles institution and a fixture of the world soundscape for nearly half a century. This Chicano band from East LA has given us so much, hope, inspiration, the soundtrack of our lives for generations of Angelinos. When I left Los Angeles to study in New York, I listened to Los Lobos to remember home. To all the honorees, we are so blessed for the extraordinary work that you have brought to our city and the extraordinary work of La Plaza. So on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, muchísimas gracias, and I look forward to being together soon. Hola, I'm Hilda Solis, Los Angeles County Supervisor for the First District. The arts are a universal language. It can unite all of us and remind us that we're really not all that different from one another. The arts also play a critical role in the economic resiliency of LA County and in the social resiliency of our communities, not just in recovery from COVID-19, but also in the long term. LA County has invested meaningfully in arts and culture through our county institutions and support of arts nonprofit organizations through several grant programs. However, LA County has an unprecedented opportunity to maximize assets and diversify resources in order to support this sector survival. In June of this year, I authored a motion to adopt a countywide cultural policy that is the first of its kind in the nation. This policy is intended to nurture a culture within LA County that seeks to utilize the arts to inform and enhance service delivery to our constituents. Furthermore, I voted in favor of allocating $10 million of LA County's CARES Act funds to create an arts relief fund administered by the county's Department of Arts and Culture. By getting artists and arts organizations back to work, we can continue to support the cultural lives and community resilience of LA County and help our residents thrive. And that is why I'm proud of the work La Plaza has been doing during these unprecedented times to uplift the artists and continue to support our families by providing virtual educational programming. Congratulations to Los Lobos and to Castelo de la Rocha for being honored tonight. Thank you for your work in uniting our community through the arts. Saludos a todos and don't forget to vote this November the 3rd. Muchas gracias. Let's head over to the auction area and check in with Kim on the silent auction. How's it going, Kim? Michelle, it's going great. There's a lot of activity on our site tonight. And just in case you're wondering, you can also make a donation or become an official La Plaza member on our auction site. Check this out. Three bottles of Baja wines and a private Zoom session with our friend and Baja wine expert, Gil Gutierrez. Michelle, make your bid now.
Esta música me mantiene enamorada de la vida. And I'm pleased now to introduce the vice chair of the La Plaza Board, Andy Carrasco of Southern California Gas Company. Thank you, Dunya, and buenas tardes a todos. La Plaza created the Pobladores Award to honor the original settlers who came here from Mexico in 1781 to establish our great city of angels. The Pobladores Award recognizes Angelinos who demonstrate that same trailblazing spirit. This is a small and distinguished group that includes Mayor Antonio Villaragosa, activist Dolores Huerta, Supervisor Gloria Molina, Councilman Richard Alatorre, Congressman Esteban Torres, the Getty, the Lozano family of La Opinion, Chich Marin, Linda Ronstadt, and my former boss, Dennis Ariola. Congratulations to this year's inductees, Gaustolo de la Rocha and Los Lobos. Your trailblazing accomplishments in the arts, music, and in healthcare have made Los Angeles a better place and represent the very best of our community. Mil gracias and felicidades. Congratulations. Thank you, Andy. Here now to introduce our first honoree is a member of La Plaza's Eastside Arts Initiative, a Los Angeles County Court Commissioner, and a well-known patron of Latinx art, Armando Duron. Tonight, we gather virtually to celebrate a very special man, someone who has dedicated his life to the betterment of our community and our country in profound ways. Castro de la Rocha rose from humble beginnings to build and lead ultimate in the course of 45 years into the largest nonprofit healthcare provider serving the Latino community in this country. Ultimate now has 3,200 employees serving in 52 clinics providing services to over 300,000 clients annually. But there is more. If you go to an ultimate clinic and see the art that graces its walls, you will immediately realize how art serves ultimate clients. Art brings a heightened humanity, contributing to their health. It exemplifies a profound respect for the clients ultimate serves, as well as its employees. This is a result of Casulo's singular vision his integrity brought to fruition. Casulo knew that art and good health go hand in hand. Today, Ultimate has one of the largest collections of Latino art anywhere in the country. Works from its collection are sought for inclusion in other shows. From the clinics to the museums, Ultimate, because of Casulo's vision, has transcended itself and stands as a beacon for all of us to admire. Castro has broadened that vision to include a two-year tour of the Ultimate Collection throughout the Republic of Mexico, entitled Building Bridges, Construyendo Puentes. It gave our brothers and cousins a glimpse of our experiences as Chicanos. That exhibition will come here next year. Castro, we salute you. I raise my glass of wine from Ceja Winery, a winery you introduced to Los Angeles through Ultimate's annual fundraiser, East LA Meets Napa, and along with everyone else who is participating tonight, from their homes across the country, to toast your vision, your achievements. Salud. Thank you, Armando. And of course, thank you for your support of Building Bridges. It took an entire pueblo, a whole village, it took all of us to make building bridges happen. Our advisory committees in both Los Angeles and Max Mexico absolutely played an essential role in making it possible. I have been passionate about Chicano art for many decades. I am and have always been a Chicano Mexicano activist looking for good trouble as the late representative John Lewis recommended. So many of the artists featured at Altamet's art collection were the products of a powerful movement for social justice that not only shaped a generation of Latino leaders, but paved the way for those Chicano artists to give expression to our community's needs and aspirations. Many of these giants are among us, Patsy Valdez, Wayne Healy, John Valadez, Eloy Torres, Roberto Gilde Montes, Ramses Noriega, Judy Baca, Carlos Almaraz, Elsa Flores, Frank Romero, and my own cousin, Beto de la Rocha. 
And of course, there are newer artists like Ana Serrano, Enrique Castrejón, and Ramiro Gomez, creating new and extraordinary art whose message is consistent with those we have admired over the course of the last four or five decades. The ideas of building bridges came about when Altamet put on a one-time exhibit at the Mexican Culture Institute in Washington, D.C. three years ago. Before the 45th, shine a light on many of the artists eventually displayed through building bridges, as well as the economic, political, and social injustice faced by Chicano Latino communities over four decades prior to Trump's inauguration. This did not serve to downplay the danger of Trump's rhetoric, but to show that it was well established and that many of the issues facing our communities have not been alleviated in nearly half a century. Where our schools failed to teach the history of America with stories of diversity, as diverse as our population itself, art could help fill the gaps. We launched Building Bridges in 2018 as an ambitious idea for another one-time exhibit in Mexico City to use art as documentation and help tell those stories across the border as our own president sought to build a wall and make enemies of our neighboring countries. It was a privilege beyond my wildest dreams to see enough interest in this exhibit that we could grow it to a project that would travel throughout Mexico. The Chicano art of Los Angeles unfortunately, has yet to gain real mainstream interest in our own hometown. So it was powerful and meaningful to see again an enormous audience abroad. This was a collaboration among our advisory committees, our sponsors, the Mexican government, El Instituto Nacional de Bellas Artes y Literatura, and those ultimate staff members, particularly my development team and the ultimate foundation who worked incredibly hard to plan each exhibit at the back end. It was also possible, thanks to the work of Erica Morales, uh, Cristina Sanchez, and Julian Bermudez, who tied together the exhibit themselves and our partnerships in Mexico. We have to credit those who have worked to give Chicano art mainstream credibility as an American art, which it is, people like Armando Duron, Chich Marin, the museums of LACMA, MOLA, Vincent Price uh, Museum, as well as uh, La Plaza here, for being instrumental in giving our artists a real platform. I hope that Altamed has been able to, and will continue to be able to, contribute to that movement. I thank La Plaza for serving a purpose similar to building bridges in part to documenting and preserving our stories, and more importantly, to making them available. I am eager for Altamed to be a long-term partner in one capacity or another. Thank you for this honor, and congratulations to the Lobos, to Los Lobos, rather, born out of my rival high school, Garfield, in East Los Angeles. It is a pleasure to be here virtually besides you. Keep creating, keep sharing. Mil gracias. Thank you very much. Caselo, on behalf of the La Plaza Board of Directors, the La Plaza staff, and toda la familia, I'm very honored to be here to present to you the Poblador's Award. I am humbled. Thank you very, very much. Caselo, well, this is for you. Thank you. Hope you've been doing this. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Castulo, and congratulations. And thank you, Jesus, for your beautiful music. I love it. Now, I'm going to introduce the 2018 Pobladores Award winner, a man who considers himself our activist, un activista de las artes, and he doesn't need any introduction. He's the awesome Chich Marin. Hi, Chich here, and I'm here to announce that the winner of this year's Pobladores Award goes to the baddest band in the land, Los Lobos. It seems like I've known Los Lobos all my life uh, through their music because I really don't know anything about them. I mean, I don't know where they live. They think I don't know where they live. But I don't know where they live. I don't know if they're married, how many kids they have, what kind of car they uh, drive, what, what class of stuff they smoke. I don't know, but I know everything about them from their music. They are traditionalists, they are innovators, and they are the baddest band in the land. So big shout out to Cesar, David, Louis, Steve, and Conrad. Uh, whenever I've called them, they've come to aid me in whatever I'm doing, whether it's opening the Chicano Visions Tour in 2001, two, somewhere around there, uh, in San Antonio, Texas, that drew 8,000 people to an art opening in San Antonio. It also helps if you have free beer, tequila, and tacos, but Los Lobos was the main draw. And I, I, I am so proud of these guys. I've, I've been delighted to be on stage with them, sing with them, have them their songs in our movies. And like I said, I don't know anything about them, but I know everything about them. All you have to do is turn on their music. So congratulations to the baddest band in the land, Los Lobos.
We're Los Lobos. We like to thank La Plaza de Cultura y Artes for the Poladores Award. Thank you very much. It's a great honor. Uh oh, you're covering your knife, man. There you go. Get a home, what are you? Yeah. Wow. What in the. Wow. Hey, we're on a tortilla. We're on a tortilla. That's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. On thank behalf you, of the whole band, we like thank to, you. We like thank to, much. Thank, like you. to thank everybody for this great award. Coming from Los Angeles, it means a lot to us. We'll Gracias. let you know how it tastes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to eat that part right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, hope you guys refresh those drinks. Don't go anywhere. Now we have a very special treat. Sit right there on the couch because Los Lobos, they've been in the studio recording their next album. And here's an exclusive look behind the scenes of that session. Boys, take it away. Behind the glass, take three.
They are so good and still going strong after 46 years in counting. Thank you once again. Gracias to Los Lobos and congratulations. Meantime, let's check in with Kim to see how that auction is going. It's still going strong. Thanks to our community, these items are disappearing. Remember, the auction site will be live until October 17th. So thank you so much for your participation this evening. Y bueno, nos estamos acercando a la recta final, but before we leave, like you can see, John and Luper are here. How things going, guys? That went fast. Thank you, Doña and Michelle, for doing such a great job tonight. I want to thank all of our sponsors who made this all possible. Thanks to Walmart, PepsiCo, Aetna, SoCal Gas, and all the rest of our sponsors. I also want to thank our dedicated board members for their steady leadership in guiding the organization. Thank you, Lupe. And now with that, let's ask John what they have in store for the rest of the year when it comes to La Plaza. Thank you, Michelle. We're really anxious to get back. And as soon as we get the green light, we'll be ready to go with an extended run of our Afro Latinidad show, our Carlos Almanaz exhibit. That'll be followed by exhibits on the Chicano Moratorium and on Congressman Ed Roybal. And we're very excited that we'll be hosting the Ultimate Building Bridges exhibit here too, shortly after that. Um, we'll be opening across the street as well, our new Cocina Museum in the Plaza Village. This is gonna be another exciting project that we're embarking on. And I have to say that we couldn't do any of this without the great support and commitment and dedication of our hardworking staff. So I want to acknowledge all of them for the great work they do for La Plaza. So thank you all again. We're looking forward to another great and exciting year. That sounds great, John. We really appreciate all the good work you do at La Plaza to keep the Latinx history, art, and culture alive. And we thank you for all of your support. We need you. It's what keeps La Plaza going, and we hope to see you back very soon. Así es muy pronto porque ocupamos la ayuda de todos ustedes. And it's time for the after party, Michelle. Así que stick around so we can see some highlights from last year's dinner honoring Linda Ronstadt. Amazing. La adoramos. También special performance by La Marisol, Los Lobos, oh. Ángel Aguilar, yes. Mariachi Los Ángeles. Arriba. Así es. And more. Thanks again and have a great night, everybody.